In order to remove the circuit board from the CS1, you'll first need to remove the grips. Please see the separate video on how to remove the grips from the grip frame. Once the grips have been removed, you must first unplug the power cables. These power cables take power from the battery pack into the circuit board. Carefully lift the wires out away from the circuit board and gently pull and unplug power cable and plug. Move that to one side. Now turn over the marker allows access to three screws on this side. These three screws hold the circuit board in place. Remove these three screws using a 2mm or 564th driver. Take the screws out and place to one side. These are the same screws that also hold the rear grips onto the frame. Once those three screws have been removed, the circuit board needs to be lifted out from the bottom, paying attention to the fact that there's a tab at the top that's retaining the top of the circuit board. Lift away and out. The circuit board is now been removed from the marker. Replacing the circuit board is simply reversing the processes of removal. Make sure that the mic switch doesn't get caught on the mic switch screw and the trigger. Place in top circuit board first underneath the tab, and gently lower it down into position. With the circuit board in position, carefully put the three retaining screws back in. Don't over tighten them at this stage. Once the circuit board's in place, make sure the screws are loose. Push and hold the circuit board using the push buttons so that the circuit board is pushed into its forward position in the frame. And tighten up the three screws. And again, go around and just nip them into place to make sure they don't come loose in use. Once those three screws have been replaced, Turn the circuit board over and plug in the power cable. Making sure that it's firmly pushed down into its socket and then paying close attention that the power cable doesn't get trapped between the trigger and the mic switch or behind the micro switch. This will cause very mushy feeling to the trigger. So make sure the wires are tucked out behind the micro switch and out of the way of the trigger itself. Circuit board has now been replaced.